we live on the Voktaire now, too? Hello! Yeah, Hello. I'm waiting on you. Hello! Hello! We are back after a extended period of absence. And uh, we're going to play some Icewind Dale tonight. Uh, Perry is not with us. He, Courtney, he, he may join us. I'm not sure. We'll see. I know he's been writing exams, and he may just be worn out and tired and asleep. So, we'll see. Anyway, uh, where we left off last time... I don't think there's any announcements we have to make, is there? No? no? I don't no. think so. No. We're good. Thanks, monster. You're welcome. Go check out the Old Men Rolling Dice YouTube. Make me feel better about myself. That's what I should say. And Dion, yeah. look at you guys. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate. I appreciate both you, both of you. Oh, um, this Sunday will be our final episode of Salt Marsh. That's pretty exciting. We're and gonna follow, die. And yeah. following the finale of Salt Marsh, our Sunday games are going to turn into a, a summer Call of Cthulhu. It might be a one shot. I think it. I think it might be a mini campaign. We're gonna see. However. However, tonight we are in Icewind Dale, and we are fighting Duogard wards. The party found out that the Duogard had been stealing Shardolin and making a Shardolin dragon. Shardolin is a magical crystal that holds good stuff and evil stuff and... Oh shit, I just realized that my... <laughs> I didn't... I, I changed all and then did not push update information. Oh, Agni, thank you. Yeah. Affy, thank you. Hype did train! We just, did we just start a hype train? We did. Woo woo! We're hyping Jer on DM. Je Are we hyping on the Voktaire or just DM Jeremy? Just I'm not Jeremy. cool enough to be hyped. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's just because everybody decided they were going to turn in their primes tonight. I yeah, thank pretty you. much. I thank you. I thank you. I love I you. I didn't turn in a prime. Are you legit? I'm legit. Too I'm legit, legit to quit. I think I'm legit on your channel, too. I'll have to double check after this. Afi's prime. I'm prime on <laughs> Afi. Dion well, paid like real money. Now. Look at that, Dion. You, <laughs> you got a gold dragon beside your name now. How awesome is that? Monster only has oh. a red dragon. That's because I'm a piece of crap. I didn't pay real money. What's with you, dude? What's with you? <laughs> The list is long and hard to pronounce. Where would you like me to start? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow, what? Nuge dropped 1500 on the Voktair. Oh, thank you, oh, sir. Oh, very nice. Thank you, Nuge. Nuge, you're the best. Uh, I can't see the Voktair's card drops, so someone's going to have to tell me if I need to do something. That would be me, and I should now that I know. Thing. Now that I know Nuge is here. <laughs> Nuge, make sure to drop all of your copper coin ones right now and then yeah don't play the just cards burn them room. just burn them <laughs> dance naked around their effigy so we had met this this fine woman last time right yep i remember her she's cute she's a duergar mama yeah, i love her name <laughs> although it eludes me right now it's What's like grandolfa hold on we're gonna get it here grandolfa musgart Grandolfa Musgart. And she had told you basically that she had had enough of Sunblight. Yeah. He, she doesn't, she has no interest in becoming his like fourth wife and she just wants to do away with him. Yes, and I agreed to do so in exchange for her dragon. And did she agree to that? She did. <laughs> yes, she did. I feel like I'm going to regret that. But anyway, yep. <laughs> uh, as you are about to leave to go and get Sunblight, the door as you open the door, Dorth Sunblight, who you had read about in a letter, he had been hanging out around East Haven. He was staying there. You pulled him in. You, you, you put your knife to his throat. And that's when Mama Moosegart was like, Hello, Dorth. And that's where I think we ended. Yep. Am I right? Right that before we rolled right. initiative, I believe, yes. Well, are we just killing him? I mean, if we're just going to kill him, then we can just kill him. 
I mean, I hadn't intended to kill him yet. I think we were going to cast Charm Person on him, but I don't know if we can do that now. <laughs> At disadvantage, we could, but... He's pretty awesome looking. Yeah, he is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He's not heavily armored like a warrior. Maybe this is just his home clothes, though. Like, maybe this is his version of joggers and slippers. It's we don't PGs. know. <laughs> so, what, do you, what are you going to do? I'm kind of actually looking to Mama Moose Cups for how she wants to handle this. Okay, and she's kind of looking for to you guys as to how you're going to handle this. Oh, good. He's, she says, uh, perhaps the son will be more logical than the father. You can leave him with me if you'd like. His brother wasn't very logical, but he's dead now. Brother was a douche. Dorth is sort of looking back and forth as all this conversation is happening, trying to figure out, like, who you people are. <laughs> We're friends of the Duragar. Yes. Hello. Uh, he, uh, he looks at, uh, he looks at all of you and and Mama, uh, Grandmama Moosegart, and he's like, I knew you couldn't be trusted, you old wench. And she just laughs at that. She likes that very much. She, she loves being hated by him. Are you kidding me? Nope. <laughs> okay. That's okay. We just have to get to that. Uh, so, what does that mean? I'm afraid. Oh, nothing. You should be. It wasn't even Nuge that did the thing. I know. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Okay. So, she looks to you. She's like, she's, she says, you know, if we spare him, if we spare him, we can, uh, perhaps the followers of Sunblight will not be as disappointed. But I will leave this to you. I think he would be, uh, useful. He, uh, she, she, she just very, um, very subtly nods her head. All right, then. And I'll remove my dagger from his throat and push him forward. All right. Right into Udagarn. All right. Sorry, I was just jamming the music. What happened? <laughs> I can't take it anywhere. Jade shoves Dwarf <laughs> into your lap. Squirrel! Yeah, pretty much. I was just sitting here like, so relaxing. Might be too relaxing. Why did you do that? He's going to be useful, so, you know, I'll leave him here. Oh. Okay. But you're in the way, so. So, the other Duogar come over and escort him over to you their their boss and uh, Mama Grand Grandolfa Moosegart says have you seen the elevator? The yellow what's what? A, what's an elevator? The cage that lowers and rises simple to uh, Well, that doesn't seem very safe. To find Lord Soulblight, you'll have to go beneath the Citadel, down to the forges. Yeah, you were, somebody was going to take us, right? I have contacts at the Western Elevator. The Eastern Elevator is not so safe. I hear a meow and look around. Stupid card. He says, make your way to that elevator and find the lord in the depths of this citadel. Alright then. Alright, let's do this. Let's do it. Are you gonna head to the to this the south elevator? 
Yes, we're so, going to murder. Wait, the, the, west, the west elevator? Do you guys so want to try the east instead? Yeah, you're welcome to. Why does Courtney have a bleeding eye? What? Was, was he blinded? Oh, mm. so why was that shit? No, he had on something that let him see through. Invisibility? The invisibility? Yeah, that's the one. The invisibility, oh, that's, that's it, yeah. Yes, the invisibility on, you're right. Okay. Haha, -ha, I do pay attention. A little bit, Barely. yeah. Wait, what? Uh, Sorry, we're missing we Lander. Have... Where's Lander? There he is. I'm okay. still in the room. Sorry. So you come out in the hallway, and then you head uh, back this way for the elevator. As you enter, uh, you... Courtney, Courtney can see a Duagar guard who is invisible right now, and looking a little uh, terrified. The elevator is up on this floor, and it has just risen from the depths, and a strange-looking creature has made its way out of the elevator. And we're going to roll initiative. Oh, would that be a rust monster? That would be a rust monster. And I believe you have Mr. Uh, Pickles to blame for this. Yes, it would be Mr. Pickles. Pickles! With the rust monster. And I got to get his initiative in here. Go. Just one? I was told one. No, it's based on CR. But I'm okay with one. You mean I can change it? Yeah. Yeah. How many does pickles want me to put in? Depends on our CR. I'm not asking that though. I'm, I wonder how many pickles would like. Pickles four. has four. Because he's a dick. <laughs> Actually, like that's that. nice. I, don't know. I, I, I think I pickles is great. Eight. I would have dropped eight of them. Well, a group of rough, a group of rust monsters have risen from the depths. This Duagar is terrified of them. Uh, and we've have we got initiative? I've only rolled initiative for one of them. I think. Yeah. yeah so and I'm not on the initiative. Did you highlight your token and hit the initiative button? Oh, I have to do that. My bad. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hey. You, la you lazy so-and-so. Right, you lazy fantasy button? ground so-and-so. I was going to say, didn't they upgrade fantasy grounds? <laughs> you know what? I don't want to start a big thing about this, but that's one of the reasons that I like this better. <laughs> You have to be engaged here. Yeah, you have to okay. pay attention, Agni. Yeah, Agni. Yeah, Agni. That yeah. Just never pays attention. Okay. Uh, Rust monster number one. By the way, thank you for dropping a monster that I haven't looked at in fucking Oh, eight. Harry made it. Yay. You I thought Harry made it. Stream now. Sorry, I'm late. That's okay, bro. You okay? Yeah, I, uh, I had a a makeup test. I had a, a midterm today and my internet went down in the middle of it and I had to write it today. Otherwise I was going to get a zero. So I had to do my makeup this afternoon. Well, this evening. That seems kind of sus. How dare you put your education before D and D. That's exactly what I tried to explain to my prof. And I was like, listen, I've got people that fucking need me. You don't know him, <laughs> but Courtney is a hero, a hero of good need. <laughs> <laughs> Bet your prop uses fantasy grounds and not uh, roll twenty. Oh, I got you. No, he's I'm probably kidding. a heathen and uses like, <laughs> tabletop or something. Ugh. What's the new one that's out? Like something Anvil? Yeah, Anvil works. Foundry. Foundry. Yeah, or it has an Anvil symbol. Okay. Yeah. So we've got Courtney. You're just in time to roll initiative. Hmm. Okay. I'll let you get in here and then you can do that. 
Yeah, just launching the game now. Yeah, no worries. I'm feeling pretty, pretty chill. This is my new Father's Day shirt, by the way. Oh, yeah? Queen, mm. Queen shirt, yeah. Nice. I've never owned a piece of Queen clothing. My Father's Day shirt is an inappropriate for stream. How, how did Courtney and Jade flip? Good call, though, Diump. Good call. I was getting there, Nuge. I was getting there. Uh, Dad. Hmm. Son's Aww. first what? Hero. Oh, Son's I first hero, this. a daughter's first love. And then it's got their autographs etched in. That's creepy. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah. Jerks made me all emotional and stuff. How dare they? Yeah. I had to leave mm. for like half the day. <laughs> <laughs> and Afi, you look confused. Courtney, go ahead and roll. And my shirt. Go ahead and roll your uh, your initiative if you can. Oh, where yeah. is it again? I figured it was just something filthy. Just clear. click on your uh, token. You click then... on your token in the top. Oh, the... that's right. The token. I forgot about it. Uh, my screen is completely black. I have no access to see anything. Scroll up. Uh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, this is very <laughs> magical music. Oh yeah, we should get some battle music going here. I yes. thought this was battle music. This music actually distracted me. I was just sitting here like... I was getting all hype, ready to kill some rust monsters with this stuff. Yeah. Listen to that while blowing up Max. I love the horns that we got there. Horns and thumb. <laughs> and the metal there we go. Heart. All right, so we're all in the initiative now, and uh, so Courtney, you guys are going to use an elevator to get down into the forges of the citadel where the Lord should be. They've sent you to this one with your sea invisible. You can see a Duogar standing in the room, and he's terrified. He's terrified because the elevator that was raised up out of the depths for you, is full of rust monsters. Thanks to Pickles. Ooh. Thanks to Mr. Pickles. Okay. Has something happened since last time? The last time I remember, that lady was choking, and we punched her a shitload of times in the stomach, and that didn't yeah. help. Then we yeah. got her to stop choking, and then we pulled yeah. the guy into a room with a knife to his throat. So, the guy what you pulled in the room... Then? The guy who you pulled in the room is the son of the Lord... He's the one that was supposed to be at the ferry that wasn't there. And the oh, old yeah. lady that you saved from choking, who's trying to overthrow the Lord, says that, you know, he's probably more used to us alive. Because if we if we go and kill off Lord Soul Blight, he's going to have followers that are maybe like, hey. But if the sun is there, then you might have a bit of a cushion. Okay, okay. So he's been kept alive. You guys come to the elevator and uh, rust monsters. Anything right. else I can bring people up to speed on? Mm -mm, that's good. No? Rust this monsters. going to scurry over to in front of Court, uh, Courtney and uh, and Phelan. Am I saying her name right? Phelan? <laughs> you yep. changed it. We don't know anymore. No, it it's Phelan. It is Phelan. Don't you ever get her name wrong again. <laughs> he gave me shit last time. Uh, for saying her name wrong. I think it's more than a Phelan. Uh, I'm pretty no. sure you called her Raylan. Did I? Yeah, I think that's or what it was. No, it was Fairy. So, it's going to use its antennae and touch the uh her armor oh if the object isn't being worn if the object okay yeah so <laughs> does this so if the object is being worn the creature makes a dc 11 dexterity save and failing that <sighs> Which she does. <laughs> Double oh. ones? Uh, she didn't have advantage or disadvantage, so we're just going to take the left one. I mean, Not that it mattered. mattered. And her armor class is... Uh, 
penalized by one. Ooh, I'm gonna put that in her. Put that in her red box up here. Don't say it. Just nah. let it be. Just <laughs> let it be. It's too easy. <laughs> Low hanging. Yeah. Jade, it's your turn. Okay, well, I'm going to... Mm -hmm. I'm going to spoon up against her and <laughs> stab it. I like where this is going. Yeah. How I do. What are you wearing? <laughs> uh, 16 is a hit, so it takes 15? Nope. It's a natural one. Nuge. Nuge fucked me. Oh. <laughs> uh, but I am going to wail from the grave on this one, which he can't fuck with. Doesn't wails from the grave have to hit the target? I don't think so. I thought wails of the grave wails of the grave triggers from you hitting the target. Oh yes, after <laughs> I deal my sneak attack. So never mind. I didn't do that either. <laughs> All you need is love. Da, da, uh, da, da, da. Nuge Jeremy doesn't play with the fumble table. Mm. I'm fumbleless. I thought people on the Vokter were nice. <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> we're assholes. That's probably why I fit in so well. Courtney, you've got a rust monster right beside you. Uh, uh, like within melee distance? Yes. Well, I'm going to use some dissonant whispers and get him to run away and then stab him in the back with an attack of opportunity. You want to throw up your dissonant whispers there and I'll make the save? Oh, I will. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. I do declare. A 19. So I'm pretty sure I made that save. What? Damn it. And do, 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 do. so it takes half, but you up the cast level. Is that what I'm seeing here? Yeah. Wow. Six. Wow. Sixteen. Wow. 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 Well, it at least hurts it though, right? Mm -hmm. With my bonus action, I'm going to be like Lander. Fuck him up, man. Uh, that's my bardic inspiration. <laughs> oh, sweet! I'm so inspired. <laughs> Lander's got the inspiration. Courtney, are you wearing metal armor? I don't think you are. Uh, let's see. I got a Psy Crystal on. Is that metal? I have Scale Mail on, apparently. Oh, well, then that is metal. Is so... it, though? Oh, you have a shield, too, don't you? I do, yes. I'm going to say that this is onto your shield. So you you have to make a sa dexterity saving throw DC 11 or your shield's armor class will drop by one. I don't even know what that means. Don't worry okay. about it. I uh, do. Dexterity, <laughs> let's see. Damn it. <clears throat> like it's the first time I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons. So go onto your character <laughs> sheet, saving, saving throws, left hand there side up to the top. There you go. Okay, your shield's fine. Of course it oh, is. Darn. It's made it of ogre skin, not metal. Can I like squeeze between a hand between them and just cast burning hands? Sure. Technically, you you can step up. Yeah. Technically, when you step back though, you take an attack of opportunity. I didn't give that to Jade though, so go ahead. Technically, okay. I just hugged Phelan. No, but you did a <laughs> melee attack, didn't you? I did. Yeah. 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 These guys are doing a deck save? Uh, apparently, yeah. Deck save it up. How dexterous can be rustrous, rusty monsters be? Not too dexterous, because neither one of them passed. Good. That's interesting. Okay, so I can't use that either. My, uh, my decks, my, um, 
mass saving throw thing is not taking into bonus of uh, it's not taking into their effect their bonuses. Uh, so next rust monster, uh, it's going to swipe at Phelan as well at her armor again. So she has to make a deck save. She's not a PC, so that card doesn't apply to her, I assume. Yep. Mm, she passed that time, though. Lander, it's your turn, my man. Who picked this marching order and put the tank at the back? Jeez. Who, who indeed? Who indeed? I believe that so, would be Jeremy. Yeah, but you said I can step up, right? Absolutely. Can you I can step up and through? There's a diagonal. All right, I'll go there then. If you want. There you go. And then I'll go there. And then I'll go there. As long as you don't re leave the reach, you're fine, my man. Three, four, five. Yeah, that's my movement. So, uh, I get two attacks. I'm going to hit uh, this guy first. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, and it's going to be 21 to hit for eight slashing. Wait, I'm also bardically inspired. What what uh, what die is that? D eight, sir. D eight. Yep. And because let's make that sixteen of... damage. Oh, max. Did damage. you roll max? Nice. I did. Big dick swinging below the knees. Boom boom. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but okay. So a tripod hits for for sixteen on the first one. Uh, <laughs> is it still up? Uh, which one did you hit? The middle one. The one the on the left. One. Well done. This one here? Yes, that guy. Uh, he is still up, my man. All right, I will do my uh, patented helicopter move. And <laughs> I will hit. Does a 15 hit? I'm not sure. Yes. Uh, it's another seven slashing. That kills him. All right. Ha ha. Rust monster number four. Lander. Yes. Do you have metal armor on? <laughs> it's, it's magical. But he automatically saves his throw. Hold on a sec, though. Just a second here. Because <laughs> I don't know that this thing can actually hurt you if you if it's magical. It's I don't think magical. I can. No, non-magical. Do you I have a non-magical shield? Perhaps. Give me a perception so goes, check. It goes for your shield. Make a no, deck me, save. Oh, you make check. the deck save automatically. <laughs> I don't have to make a deck. I don't have to make a perception because they have this ability, Iron Scent. Well, poop. Then yes, fine. Uh, so <laughs> a reach out for your shield, and somebody in chat gave you a free saving throw. So why? Thank you. <laughs> you guys are I haven't been able to chirp you for a week or more. Sorry. I know. I know. I was enjoying it. What? My chirping or you, the fact you wanna that know I why Lander? You want to know why Lander's really not in the Call of Cthulhu game? <laughs> That's why. It all makes sense now. Oh, what an asshole. Okay, the Phelan swings her sword at the Rust Monster. Just watch your chat in Twitch. Okay, Brushes are she it. just going to roll double of everything the entire time? I know. I think. I think maybe something's broken. Jade, it's your turn again. Yes, it is. Let's... So that you can do something. After being crippled I'm by your current. stand on Udegarn and fire a bow at that guy. Okay, roll to hit. With your bow and arrow. Nope. <laughs> I didn't need wow. you. I did it myself. <laughs> she finds her own ones. Yep. So I'll just kind of curse and be like, maybe I should. Balls. I think I'll institute critical failures right now. <laughs> Only for Jade, though, right? Courtney, your turn. Of course it is. I'll do the exact same thing I did last time to no effect. <laughs> Are you letting go dissonant whispers again? Yes, at the closest. Douchebag. This guy right here, then. Ugh. 
Uh, so... Wisdom save. He gets an 11, that's not enough, so he takes 7 points of damage. You're dang right he does. And goes scurrying away, correct? Yes. So hey, do we... I get an attack of opportunity? Can we I attack you do, guys? I'm checking it right now. We check every time and we never remember. I yes. remember you do get an attack of opportunity. To the, you do the I... reaction? We should add it as a command in the stream. Yeah, see, it has to use its reaction, if available, to move. Yep. And that's why it's a hit, because it's not forced move, it's using an ability. It's using, yeah, anyway. Lander swings, crushing it for 13, but doesn't kill it. Phelan swings and misses. Play. And then this thing scurries to the back and starts bumping into these doors back here. Just headbutting them, trying to get away. What a uh, bummer. Alright, I'm just gonna move forward, stand right here. Yeah. I think this spell's 10 feet. I don't remember. What are you casting? Thorn Whip. Whip. 30. Our uh, ra range is 30 feet. Okay. Uh, so I have to make a... No, you rolled a 15 to hit. That hits. It does 8 piercing, and then I think you can pull it towards you if you'd like. Do I get an attack of opportunity? If the attack no. hits the creep. No, because that's... He's that's forced, pulling. yeah. Exactly. Even though the other one is forced, too. It's, it's kind of silly. Uh, if the attack hits, the creature takes the piercing damage, and if the creature is large or smaller, which it is, you can pull it 10 feet closer to you. Do you want to do that? Yeah. I'll, I'll pull it. Just Come right a little here. closer. Don't be shy. Yeah. Okay, Rust Monster. This Rust Monster uh, wonders why it's banging its head against the door and scurries back. <laughs> and to hell with these antennas. It's just... Actually... No, it is going to use its antenna on the shield. DC yeah. 11, deck save, please, Mr. Lander. Okay, I'm really good at failing saves, so there Come you go. Hold the two. So <laughs> put a minus one on your shield. The shield only gives you one AC, doesn't it? Two. Two. Two, okay. Just make a note of it somewhere, because the, they can be repaired. But, uh, yeah. Okay, Lander, it's your turn. Okay, well, I'm going to, uh, the one that just hit me, I'm going to whack it. I'm going to whack it. For eight slashing. The one that just hit you? Yeah. The one that ran away that I whacked last time. Yeah, very nice. This Still one. up? No, it's down. Okay, then I get hit the other one with my second attack. Oh, a second attack. Ah, uh, no, never you mind. Do not. One. No, you do not, sir. And now it reaches out for your shield with its little feathery tendrils. And give me another deck save. Boom. Just made it. I Just. totally wanted that shield to fall apart. I've never seen it happen before. Uh, Phelan will step up beside you and attack with her longsword. She gets an 18 for 11 damage. Doesn't kill it, but horribly wounds it. Does she have a second attack? Jeremy, when yes. the Morph Monsters made their very first appearance, one of the players in my party it's raged so because it disintegrated two swords and a shield. Oh, that's awesome. Like, I don't remember who would have raged, but... It's one okay, of the teammates that play D&D &D with Phelan. us. Oh, it doesn't. It's still there, Jade. It's your turn. Let's see if I can actually hit it. Finish Do the thing. Finish him. Yeah. Yeah. I think that hits. I think so. Okay. 
the music ended real sudden. <laughs> that All was right. a very abrupt, sir. Well, you just take it abrupt. That's the way. Uh, with that, oh, the Duogar yeah. comes uninvisible. And thanks does, you. Thanks does he have a shield? Uh, let me check that for you. Because I'm taking it if he does. He does have shield. We're going to trade. Shield. We're going to trade shields, sir. Okay. He reluctantly <laughs> lets you do that. Uh, he tells you to. He tells you to be careful. They they ha they have a bit of an infestation of these things down in the mines. Mm. Thanks for the Somebody warning. Somebody left some pickles out. I'm assuming. <laughs> are rust monsters attracted to pickles? They are now. I think so. <laughs> lore! Lore! Study it! <laughs> rust monsters love pickles. That seems fair. Well, that's because they can get the jar open so easy. He says that if, you, if you'd like to... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm not playing Sundays. Sometimes you hear it and you're just like, is that what... Did I hear it? And then, yeah. Yeah, you heard yeah. it. Yeah, I actually <laughs> said it. Yes. It's okay. it's okay. It's okay. This is your favorite song, guys. Dun dun. Yeah. Three it'll minutes like clockwork. It'll have the dun dun in it. Dun dun dun. Okay, so he says, uh, I assume you're going down. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you're going down. Dun dun. Okay, so he put he lets you get into the elevator. Although the elevator is ten by ten, and technically a token takes up five by five. Please remember, in real life, a ten by ten room you could squish a lot of people into. So you all get into the elevator, and he begins your descent. And let's go to the lower level. I'm really excited about this, actually. Yeah. You. And there was much rejoicing. Yay! Okay. I'm going to drag you here for a second, so stand by. This Standing could be... A, this could be quite the drag. we got to go a long way. Oh, farted. You dirty bastard. <laughs> it was Agni. What? Tell by Blame Agni. Blame Agni. Wait, what? What? That's what you get for not paying attention. <laughs> Come on, Agni. Come on, Agni. Okay. So you reach the bottom. And you find yourself in this chamber. With the big, large wheel with a chain running around it. And the elevator comes down. And sets. there's a set of double doors here. And you feel like you've gone pretty deep. That's what she said. I was just <laughs> thinking that. I was waiting for it. I'm going to listen at the door. Okay. So. Agni. Yeah, the elevator shaft terminates in this room and a large stone wheel next to it. The iron cage turns constantly. Uh, Odegarn listens to the door and he can see, hear dwarven voices beyond. Hey guys, are the dwarves going to be friendly down here or not? I'm going to assume not, but I'm not going to strike first. Or am I? Yeah, I probably am. That's, okay. that's entirely up to you. I could check it for traps. Check it for traps. Just open it. <laughs> I open How dare door. you play a rogue like a rogue? How dare you? I give Udagarn the middle finger and I open the door. As you approach the door and pass Agni, there is a strange <laughs> odor, believe it or not. A, uh, <laughs> some, something that reminds you of cabbage and old women. Ooh, old women are going to be offended about that. Like five feet what? away. 
Can you step five feet away from me, fish? Why? Because you stink. That seems like a you problem. No, you're the one that smells, therefore it's a you problem. I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm working through it. <laughs> There's that music. Uh, as you open the door, there are a pair of Duagar guards standing there. This uh, room contains braziers of glowing hot coals in the north corner and the southwest corner. Loud mechanical noises come from behind you, and uh, the two of them look at you, but they don't attack right away. They give you a look up and down. Hey. I flash them a triangle face. Seeing the triangle face, they're like, you are with the Moosegurt? And we nod. Give him a nod and walk in like I own the place. Pretty much. They they don't they don't attack, they just point they just point to the doors and uh, they say to you, uh, Lord Sunblight is in prayers. Look for the chapel. Chapel's going to be the last place he sees. And which direction is the chapel in exactly? They say that uh, you'll need to head east, breach the gates into the courtyard. Good luck. Breaching away then. Uh, so now. We need some. We need a dreadful. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Not yet time. Almost time. All right. So beyond this door, the ceiling of this hall arches to a height of thirty feet. Stone steps lead up to a semicircular dais against the southern wall, and atop the dais is a misshapen throne crudely carved out of a black crystal. Chartalin. Small crack... <clears throat> small, crackling flames burn in braziers that occup occupy the room's corners. Slumped near the east wall is a tall, bipedal, fungus creature. Luminous spores float in the air around it. A savage white furred biped has torn off one of the fungal creature's arms and is holding it while four other white furred bipeds covered with fungal growths try to capture the floating spores into jugs. I don't know what that is, but I want it. You want everything. I am... Yep. So this one here, this one here looks to be the leader. He's the one holding the arm. And then there's there's four other ones uh, moving about, grabbing stuff. Yes. I, want... I, I don't want to interrupt the game they're playing. Let them do their thing and we'll go kill the boss. Oh, you're they are, fun. They are very beastie looking. Oh, if they're be I didn't know they were beastie uh, looking. Let's kill them. I don't like yeah. them. Absolutely. And this is the <laughs> dais with the throne. <laughs> this is the dais with the throne, and uh, they um, they don't look friendly. As they hear the door open, they turn and look at you and uh, begin to growl as they approach. And it, what, do, uh, what do you guys do? I look back through the door at the door guard and say, what the fuck are these things? <laughs> they, they, they smile at you and start to close the doors. <laughs> oh, you fuckers. <laughs> at, which, at, um... which, at which point we're going to say that the, the baddies charge. I, feel, cool. I really feel like just brawling tonight. I know All that's right. maybe not... I, may, I know that's maybe not the good D&Ds, but that's how I feel. You need a good brawl. I'm going to need to roll better than that. But anyways, you need a good brawl once in a while. Hold on, I'm looking for my button. I lost it. 
Uh, it's probably yeah. what you're sitting on. A button. Oh, Not I heard I'm looking for my butt. Oh, nat 20 initiative. Nicely done, dude. I'm so motivated today. You Glad are. I see that. I'm like, surprise, motherfuckers. I'm here. But did okay. you die? <laughs> oh, I've been watching a uh, community with him in it. I absolutely love community. I do too. It, too. It, it was. Chan, can you do that? Have you met me? <laughs> in Spanish, my name is El Tigre Chino. <laughs> right now, right now, I'm in. I'm as far along in community as that he's half naked crawling through the ducks with a monkey <laughs> <laughs> which i just yeah. love i love it it's okay nice. so Fa phelan's gonna start things off and she's going to fire her bow at the closest baddie Eighteen. That is a hit for only three damage, though. That is not so good. Come on, Caitlin. All right, Courtney. Courtney, my man. Listen, I didn't want to bring this up, but I'm gonna have to kill some people. All right, I'm gonna cast. You're gonna have to break some shit tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna cast Shatter. Oh, nice. I, I like that choice. Here we go. <clears throat> not that it. Not that my opinion matters, but. Did you cash at her? Because I didn't see I, it. I sure did. Yeah. DC 14 for 10 thunder damage. Let me get some music going here. You're right. You're right. I feel like I'm mellowing out here. We need to... Oh my god. You guys are lucky. The This track had the music cranked. <laughs> I was about to blast your eardrums out. I don't hear it, do you? Barely. I, yeah, I hear you it. Probably crank it up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it was like way up here. Okay, so Courtney, you cast Shatter, and where are you targeting? Oh, you know, absolutely everything. Okay. Well, uh, I, I really can't see much in this room. Like, I can't see enemy tokens or anything. Oh, well, that's going to be a problem for Courtney. Because they're on the other side of the room, Courtney. Oh. Let me double check that we... Do you have a light spell cast? Uh, I should. He's got his uh, glowing cod piece. Oh, that's right. But it's only 10 by 10, isn't it? Or 20 foot radius? I have that Courtney has 10 feet bright, 10 feet... It's based on his intelligence based on score. Intelligence. Okay, so you toss you're tossing this blindly, my dude. Well, in I, the darkness. I always toss blindly in the darkness. Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> rant are you I'm gonna say that you follow the, the the bow shot and drop it back there. I think that's fair. Uh, so I have to make some saving throws here, and they are saving throws versus con constitution. This is getting intense with this music. For those of you that can see in the dark, Courtney hits the bottom three beasts as well as the fungus man. Fungal powers unite. Uh, the DC is 14, so none of them except the fungal man. Oh, one other one made it. And it's 10 damage, so this is minus 10. Minus 10. And it's an electricity attack, so just like in Pokemon, they're paralyzed now. I don't think that's how it works, and it's a thunder attack. <laughs> Lightning <laughs> always comes with thunder. You can't have one without the other, right? Am I right? Am I right? right. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with my bonus action, I'm going to inspire Jade and be like, hey, do your thing. Pussy cat. I'll give her a wink and two guns. I will give a wink and 
one gun back. Oh. Well, I need my. I gotta have my thing. In the... I'll get you later. One of these. One of these furred creatures with the spores all over it is kind of blindly walking towards you. Uh, it's kind of slow though. It's kind of on the slow slide. Slow, so slow slide. Slow is it side. like <laughs> shambling towards us? Yeah, like having almost, a stroke? almost like someone? a zombie might. I am having a stroke. Yes. <laughs> Don't tell people. Well, Dave, you, I, you can't tell from the waist up. Thank you. Uh, well. Thank you for that. Can you tell the occasional knocking under my desk? <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no! Um, I'm uncomfortable. Dude, people, people are getting banned all over, <laughs> fucking all over Twitch for inappropriateness, and you're making sloshing noises under your desk. That's great. Who? What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't worry about the Voktera. I'm not on your channel. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay. I like that idea. I like that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Uh, oh, I am funny. going to move up alongside it and hold my yes, attack for when a friend Something gets, close. gets closer. So I can get okay. my sneak attack. All right, everybody avoid that enemy. Roger, roger that, avoiding the enemy. Roger, roger. So this one starts rounding the... rounding the dais. Yeah. And this one here... This one here casts Mirror Image. Counterspell. Can you do that? No. <laughs> what what level the rogues get counterspell at? I don't know. Now. You know what? This, uh, this game has kind of gotten away from me. We haven't played in so long. See, the other game you could totally cast. Well, counter we all have counterspell in the other game. So. Uh, so he gets three duplicates, I believe, is the name of the game. So we're going to put three up here. Cool. And uh, that's that's his turn. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. These guys are dashing to get to you. They're so slow. Oh, Odegarn. Yep. I am. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're just you're just getting revenge from the number of times I dropped down your channel. That did startle me a bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are watching my stream, but there's sound effects on my stream, and I always get agony with sound effects. And he sort of got he sort of got me there. I I that did startle me a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my action until everything is all together, and then I'm gonna drop erupting earth on all of the things. Well, holding an action until they're all together, you have to be a little more specific on that for me. Like, okay, so till so there's more. Hit... Yeah. Well, so what's more? One more? If one more gets in range, and if two yeah. more gets in range, if one twenty more. more get in range, all of the things are in range. All of them, including the fungus man. No. We're let, at we're least so I can at least hit four. Yeah. Okay, so one more. Yeah. Even yeah. if I have to hit Jade, I'm okay with it. I, I, I have you, heard it, you heard it here, Lander. That's a sacrifice he's willing to make. Well, that gives me great confidence now to move into melee range. Thanks, Agni. No problem, sir. I'll go it. here so that Jade can yep. stab it. Okay, so stop your movement right now. We got to yes. do Jade the uh, ready to action. And is that that's on this one here, Jade? Yeah. Okay. So that hits for a total of seventeen. And then what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna. Well, what does Jade oh. do? Oh, she can't trigger her next thing because it nope. needs ability for that, right? Yeah. Okay. Now what? I'm gonna smack the same one. Ooh, look at you. Does a 28 hit? 
Is a frog's ass water tight? Uh, <laughs> before or after? Wow. Does a 12 hit? <laughs> Sorry, I'm still uncomfortable from the other thing. A 28 hits. <laughs> a 12 does not. Okay, so it takes 7 slashing. Alright, nicely done. And as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on myself, because I know you love when I do that. Okay, and this guy has the dodge action. And Odegarn, does that meet your qualifications? I mean, yeah. Yeah, it does. You can hit four of them? I think so. It's a 20-foot cube. It's a 20-foot so. cube? I don't think so. Let's let's draw a cube. Let's draw I that cube. I don't know how to draw a cube. I don't know how to draw a cube. That guy, unless you put it on the, the middle of the square, that guy won't be in it. Yeah, I'm gonna say it doesn't meet your it doesn't meet your criteria. Okay. Then. Okay. Because we're not we're not doing half squares. <laughs> All right. That kind of night, is it? Phelan moves up to here. Long swords the creature beside. Actually, you know what? She's gonna booming blade it. Booming blade. She did not. Courtney. Okay. Oh, I see. Uh, I'm going to move up to here. And uh, I'm going to get real brave and try to impress Phelan by melee attacking. <laughs> you say, watch this. Watch Hold this. Hold my beer. Baby. <laughs> Hold my loot, if you know what I mean. Oh, my. Here we go. He's a bird. He's a bird. 17's a hit, my dude. Okay, well then I get my bonus attack because I'm in the College of Valor. Yes, you do. Oh, Hits again! I am nice. impressing the shit out of her. You're impressing the shit out of me. Okay, and then with my bonus action, I'm going to inspire Odegaard. Yeah! I have <laughs> no more bardic inspiration for the day. There's a great deal of applause for you. Who are you expi Who are you inspiring, Odegaard? Oh, no. oh yeah. Yeah. Shit. This creature attacks at Jade. He gets two attacks. A fourteen. Nope. And a sixteen. Uh, it's a nice duelist. Sometimes she just speaks another language. You know that. <laughs> I add my proficiency bonus to my armor class. It's a feeder. So you're not. So you're not. And is that your reaction? Yep. Nicely done. Your turn. I'm gonna stab it. Oh, I stab it. Nuge played a natural twenty. Nice, Nuge. So that that is sneak attack and all. Lay that. Lay those numbers out. Play that funky music. You're lucky, Nuge. Played a twenty because yeah, you rolled really. a one. <laughs> Okay, so the first attack, the first part of the attack does 23 damage. Mm -hmm. That's enough to kill it. Okay. <laughs> but can you then, you? I guess you can't use, can you use I can your bonus use action? from the grave. On, yep. uh, I'll use it on the one beside me. Nice. Oh. It you doesn't... can add D8 to that too, I think. Yeah, I'll see how this goes. Uh, so that's a total of 13? Yeah, it doesn't get the sneak attack. But it does still do double, because it was a crit. And but an extra one for the D8. 14. That was not nearly as good as Lander's inspiration. Sorry. Alright. Jade, it doesn't kill it, I'm sorry. I tried. This one here attacks Lander twice. A crit and a nine. I don't get critted, but I still take the hit. I just don't get double damage for the adamantine armor. You're and so the nine fancy. Is a 
Yeah. You take seven damage then. That's kind of nice, hey? Super nice feature. I like it. Thorgrim needs a set. Let's do that. Okay, the Quagoth. Uh, what's he gonna do? Kazentite. Uh, he's gonna move to here. And he's gonna heal uh, this guy. Counterspell. I don't think so. That was lackluster. Okay. And then this guy over here. Who will he attack? Courtney or Jade? I'm going to say Cor or I guess Phelan. Not I'm going to say Courtney. So I'm flashing him a triangle face. Well, you're trying to protect... Well, you're trying to be flashy for Phelan. He wants to totally cock block you here, so... <laughs> so really, you should eight, join our party. An 8 misses and a 22? No, oh, that definitely misses. I don't think uh, so. No, of course it, it is. Claws you for 8 points of damage. Well, good thing I have 10 temporary hit points. Oh, Everyone I forgot does. about those. Everyone does. Let me give myself 7 back and take 7 off the temporary. Come on, people. Remember your temporary hit points. I hate it's been you're, like a you're month since we acquired. Odegarn. Odegarn. Paging Odegarn. Can I just, like, release the spell on the three to the right? No. Because you're... But you don't lose the spell slot. I don't. But your, your condition was never met, so... No, it's a new turn. He wants to cast the spell now. I just want to drop the spell on the three on the right. You can do that as your turn, but you can't do it as yeah. like, yeah. No, that, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. On the that's two, fine. the three on the right. Yeah. Give it to me. Cool. Hit me one the time. Button. Where's the button? Where's the button? I don't know where the button is. So we're just gonna click that. Hopefully that works. That worked. Erupting Earth. What does Erupting Earth do? I haven't even heard of this spell before. A fountain of churned earth and stone erupts in a 20-foot cube centered on the point each creature in the area must make a deck save. Very cool. Yeah. So, the leader, he makes his deck save. He only gets a... He rolled a natural one, so he failed. And the other two, they both passed. Uh, how much damage there, Agni? 22? Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah, the ground in that area becomes difficult terrain until cleared. Oh, so you wrecked the floor in here. <laughs> I wrecked everything. You know how to piss somebody off. I mean, could you imagine I... your throne room gets wrecked like that? Well, they closed the door and locked us in here. It's not my problem. Okay, so that area is wrecked. Oh, no, that's not right. No, it's down in right one. That area is wrecked. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And it does so, 22 damage. I have a question, Jeremy. Yeah. If, if he uses his Bardic Inspiration, does everyone take the plus D8, or is it only one target? I think the Bardic Inspiration specifically says a melee or ranged attack. I think oh, it's a weapon okay. attack. I don't think it's a spell. Okay. Uh, okay. Lander. Well, difficult terrain has never been a problem for me before, so I'm going to step into the difficult terrain. And I'm going to wow. smack the leader. Wow. 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 Okay, go ahead and smack that leader. You can do it. Put your back into it. Well, I rolled a one on the second attack, so he'll just take 13. Okay, slash. so the first attack hits, but he has mirror image up. So, there are three illusionary duplicates. Uh, you can choose uh, each time a creature targets you with an attack during the spell's duration, roll, roll a d20. If you have three duplicates, you must roll a six or higher to change the attack's target to a duplicate. So, here it goes, okay? Yeah. I rolled a ten. So, that changes it to one of his duplicates, and he's down to two. And cool. now it's 
Now he has to roll an eight or higher to change it to a duplicate. Cool. Can I just say that that spell is much better worded than previous editions? Not that anyone cares, but I do. I care. Do you care? I do care. I do. I care. I you love the not. wording on the spells. I care, Jeremy. Deeply. Truly, madly, and deeply. Some people are this still confused attacking by this. Lander. He's getting advantage, and he's auto-critting because cards were dropped. But Lander can't be crit. I don't care. It's happening. I got crit last time. I'm kidding. I don't see any cards dropping. Well, <laughs> technically, the card is like the roll, so it could be crit. I got a 23 and a 1. The 23 hits. You're saying the one automatically misses or something? No. <laughs> Remember that this goes off your temporary hit points, Lander. Four slashing damage. Okay, so I lose one regular hit point. I could not have rolled any lower. <laughs> Fay Lin. I've decided that Phelan's kind of my character, just so you know, Courtney. So if you if you end up hooking up with her, you're hooking up with me. I'm gonna try harder now. Oh, I was cool with that. wondering why I found I might, her attractive. I might try now. Oh. <laughs> I stab her. Everybody, everybody knows I'm not that attractive. Uh, Courtney, it's your turn. Oh, no, gonna oh. put his hair in pigtails. Oh God, it, it'll be game <laughs> over. My one weakness. He has a mole. <laughs> Well, exactly. Now it's one's gonna fall to the right, one's gonna fall to the left. We got pigtails now. Yeah, that's not the same. That's not the same. Where is everything? I can't see anything in this room anymore. You can't. Well, I don't see anything near me. Does that mean I just can't There's see one, it? There's one. Can you see this one right here, just on the edge of your dark vision? Nope. I think you can. No, because... I can if I walk over there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna walk over there, uh, and because I'm really feeling the melee attacking thing, I'm just gonna do it again. You're on fire now. Gonna use that old rapier. Rapier! It's French! Aha! Oh, you are so French! Ha ha ha! Minus 10. Hit? Both of those hit, my man. You like slashing them twice. Cool. Um, is anyone actually wounded? I'm missing one hit point. I'm not. He might die. Immediately. Not going to waste healing word on you for that. Sorry. Never a waste when you heal me. Trust me. No. You're right, it's not. Uh, with my bonus action, I'll do nothing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what I can do. I don't think there is anything I can do. It's my favorite use of my bonus action is nothing. Yeah, doing nothing. It's the, what I'm best at. How do I pass my turn in this? You can uh, push the EOT button in the chat. Under Courtney's little picture, it says, there's a pink button that says EOT. I 100% don't see that. Okay, go, go to your chat. Yeah, I'm in the chat. I see the chat. There should be initiative three three and four that I just rolled. Uh, then your two rapier attacks. And then above that, there's a picture that shows Phelan. As she, it was her previous turn, and then it's your turn now, and there's a little purple pink button that says EOT. Oh, yeah, I see it right below my face. There you go, Jade. Go. Jade, uh, you see the doors over here open. Ah, oh, balls. And there are more furry things coming. Double balls. Nice. Gonna get some furry action. Gonna attack this one. Which one? This one here? Yeah, that one. Nice. With a 10. That misses. I'm sorry, nice. Jade. I'm sorry. It uh, misses. Disengage and move. Yep, go ahead and do that. Just make sure you don't go through Agni's... No, one around. ...square, square of soul, slowness. Uh, this one here yep. attacks, uh, attacks Lander. Okay. A crit... And an eight. That's your third crit in three turns. Just Pretty saying. awesome. Pretty awesome, I'm just saying. Okay, what's the damage? But you don't take crits, so it's just eight damage. Yeah, it just means that you hit me, and I'm offended by that. Eight damage? Eight damage, sir. Whoop. 
Uh, this guy here. Hmm. He's going to cast Heat Metal on Lander's Sword. <laughs> so you need to make a... I have to immediately drop it if I remember the spell correctly. Let's double check it. Choose a manufactured metal object. I did. You can cause the object to glow red hot. Any creature in physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage when you cast the spell. Until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on each of your subsequent turns to cause this damage again. If a creature is holding or wearing the object and takes the damage from it, the creature must succeed a con saving throw or drop the weapon. So let's let's just roll the damage first. Oh, I did roll the damage, sorry. Uh, it does seven fire damage to Lander. Okay. And then Lander has to make a constitution saving throw or drop the sword. I rolled an 11. That's what you needed. All right. So you're going to keep holding on to it? Yes. Okay. For now. Oh, you know what? He's also going to move away. I know that it gives you guys some attack of opportunities. So Courtney and Lander can both make an attack. About What's his movement? Because that's difficult terrain. That's 30, right? So this is uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right. Right? Does that look fair to you? Yep. So when there's an attack of opportunity, oh, do no, I need to do my attack? I, I crit it when and I'm going to... When he leaves your reach, you, uh, you can take a swing. So go ahead and take a swing uh, there, Courtney. As long but as you yeah. have a melee weapon in hand. But Can do I, I get divine a... smite on that or no? Sorry, go ahead first, Courtney. What, what was your... Never mind, Courtney misses. Uh, and then, do you get a what? I'm not able to divine smite on an attack of opportunity, am I? No, because divine smite, I think, specifies your turn. But double check. I'm going to do the damage, and you check. And if it says your turn... When you hit a creature your... with a melee weapon attack, you can expend one spell slot to deal radiant damage to the target. There you go. You can do it, dude. All right. I will so I'll add 2d8 to that then. Nice. Yeah, because he's not undead. He's not a fiend. So 14, 25. Oh, you fall him. He's, he's back here. Yeah, Jeremy, what I was asking was, um, because I'm in the College of Valor, do I get the bonus attack when I do my attack, or is it just one? No, it's just one. This is an extra attack that happens if something leaves your reach and you have yeah. to burn your reaction. The only time you get the second attack is if you take an attack action, which you can only take on your turn. Gotcha. Uh, Lander, it's your turn now. That guy's down. He's crawling away. Crawling away. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to beam him with Eldritch Blast. Okay, so it will be at disadvantage for a ranged attack. That's okay. Okay. I'll do it anyway. Okay. The first one misses, the second one hits, and that finishes them. All right. I don't like casters. Uh Oh, shit. Hold on a second. Card blade's a card played. Sorry, man. No, we got to back up here. When you hit with your crit, we have to see if you hit the... Uh, The mirror image. Oh, yeah. Wait, did he lose a mirror image in the eruption from the floor? No, because that's a AOE attack. But it still hit him. Hang on, I'll check that. Off you, Jeremy, use the hourglass. What? Jeremy used the hourglass. Oh, from Dragon Soul? Move we'll fight back in time to reset the mechanic? I see how it is. One of the no, NPCs in the lore world has to be a like that. It specifically says that it has to be an, at an attack that targets him. And so it, it, it would hit him, but it wouldn't eliminate a... Yeah, I'm just giving you a hard time. 
No, that okay. that's a good call. As I do not use the spell. Okay, so on this one, on your attack of opportunity, it would need an, an eight or higher to hit the duplicate. He did not roll that. You hit him, Lander. So he he went down. Uh, and then you shot him with the... Uh, then you shot him, so... He'd have to roll again. And you'd have to roll a concentration check for the heat metal too, right? Uh, it doesn't matter, because you killed him. Okay, nice. I just rolled again for the image on the... Okay, so yeah. On your so blast, and yeah, so he's down. Okay, Yay. and everyone in the party uh, may heal five hit points. Yay. If you're down temporary hit points, I'll even let you put your temporary hit points up by five. Whoa. You just can't go above your ceiling of ten temporary hit points. And that's me being extremely nice for someone spending a card for you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We appreciate you will, it. You will know my love. We got sprinkled with pickle juice. Was it pickles oh. again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The pickle juice, God, it heals you, but it's... The pickle juice heals you, but it stings your wound. I got salty. So, <laughs> so <laughs> salty and garlicky. Uh, <laughs> Lander, it's your it's your actual turn now, not your... Well, my, my turn was the... Uh, Elder oh, oh, that's right. That's right. You're right. Okay, so now two of these furred creatures come out. They're like... They look like the spellcaster. They don't have all those uh, spores all over them. I give him the bird. I don't think these ones are spellcasters, though. They're not. Okay, so this one goes to here and attacks Lander twice. A 12 and a 9. That misses. Miss and miss. And this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A 21 and a 15. Not against you, Lander. No, I, I was rolling my concentration for my uh, Shield of Faith. I forgot to do that when I got hit, so my Shield okay. of Faith is down. Jade, does a 21 hit? Yes. And then a 15. Uh, no, 15 does not hit. Okay. So the Claw does four points of damage. And then this spore servant beside Lander. Where did my spore servants go? That's it. There we go. Two claws. Uh, a 20, not a natural, but just a 20 and 11. The 20 now hits because I lost my shield of faith. Okay. And you take seven damage. All right, and I got a hellish rebuke. Do that. Oh, awesome damage I just rolled. And I need to make a deck save on that guy that hit you? Yep. He got a 19. Uh, so I only take half damage. So that's insult to injury. I, yeah. Did you cast that at second level? Nope. Oh, you're not a typhling. That's right. Okay, never mind. Okay, so this Quagoth has to go up to 16. And this Quagoth has to go up to 8. Two more Quagoth come through that door. Uh, Phelan's turn. She's going to move up to here. And attack this one with her sword. Uh, she gets two attacks, so I think I'm going to do that instead of Booming Blade for her. A 23 and a 9. So the 23 hit for 11 damage. How high is the ceiling? 30 feet. Uh, Courtney. Okay, okay. So. Hmm. 
you know what? On the one right uh, between me and Phelan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whisper something naughty to him. Oh, I like that. Dissonantly. I'm gonna be like, your parents never loved you. <laughs> what kind of save is there? We go, wisdom. Uh, he failed that. So he's gonna run like a biatch, and we're gonna stab him. Okay, so hold on a sec. Let's do the damage that it does first, right? So it does eleven, and that kills him actually. Nicely done, Courtney. Jade. I wink at Phelan. <laughs> she actually, she gives you an up and down look and winks back. I'm going to oops, disengage. Yes. And come over here. And I'm going to shoot nice. that one. In front of Lander? Yep. A 19. 19 is a hit. For a total of 23, if I'm reading that right. Is that correct? Math. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot the mm -hmm. whales from the grave. It's the one that attacked me. Okay. For a total of 10? Yep. Looks good. Quag off. A new Quagoth. Uh, so Quagoth have a climb movement. So this one literally comes out and goes up the wall. So one, two, three, four, five. And drops down beside Lander. Sweet. Three? Getting a 19, 19 and then a 23. The 23 hits. Four slashing damage. This Quagoth does the same. Climbs up and over, but he go keeps going past Lander. So one, two, three. Four. I'm putting him half in, half out of the wall. He's still up on the wall, climbing. Okay. <coughs> it looks like he's heading towards Odegarn. Okay. And it's Odegarn's turn. Lander, I do apologize. That's all right. Hold on, I just lost the map. There we go. That's All okay. right. I can, bring, I can bring it back if you need to. I'm going to strike the one just south of Lander and everything within five feet of that. This one here? Yeah. Okay, it won't catch this guy. He's too high up on the wall if it's only five feet. Uh, Yeah, I think it's just five feet. Yeah, okay. So it'll hit the three and Lander. Are you still okay with that? This guy's climbing yeah. up on the wall too high, though, to be hit. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, call lightning? Yeah, call lightning. So, a storm cloud appears in the shape of a cylinder that is 10 feet tall and 60 feet wide. So, basically, like, the whole room ceiling turns into a, yeah. a storm cloud. Cool. Okay, so this guy has to make a saving throw. Uh, Dex, right? Yeah. Yep. This guy makes a saving throw of Dex. Where's that guy's Dex save? I thought I went. And Lander, you need to make a Dex save. I'm on it. You can it. do it, Lander. Three! No, you can't. So give me... How much damage was that? 21 lightning if you fail? Yeah. Yikes. Sorry, Lander. I'm at 18. Okay. That's okay. Uh, uh, 21. Half is 11. That, that kills this guy. And then half of that is... There we go. Nice. Very nice. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have it hit this guy on the wall because it is a lightning bolt coming down. 
So, uh, that's okay. fine. He get, I'm going to let him get hit. That only makes sense. I thought it was like a blast, but it's not. It's a lightning bolt, so. And he failed, so it was 22, was it? No, 21. Yeah, and I'm going to add my Bardic Inspiration to the one on the wall. The one on the wall? Okay, roll D8. Can uh... we do that? Did we check? Oh, no, we didn't. Uh, when I checked, one sec, I can read it. Here, I've got it up. Okay, it says, um, the Bardic Inspiration die must... Uh, whoop, nope. <laughs> you can inspire others through stirring words or music. To do so, use your bonus action to choose a creature other than yourself within 60 feet. Oh, somehow something moved. Okay, it oh, says... Oh, sorry, I, I dropped that. What you need is the combat inspiration. Okay, you can roll that die and add the number to a weapon damage roll it just made. So a weapon damage roll. Yeah, okay, so it can't, it can't be used. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, still a good spell. Lander, your turn. Okay. So you've got two that are sort of up on the throne attacking you, and one climbing. He's about 25 feet up on the wall. All right. What am I going to do? I'm going to take a couple of chops at the guy in the middle. Okay. Because that's how I roll. I like that. 16 and a 14 to hit. Assuming they both hit, that's a total of 18 slashing. Both hit for a total of 18? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Anything else, Lander? No, that's it. No, okay. This guy will attack you with his claws. A 24 and an 8. 24 hits. And that claw does... Oh, wow. 9 slashing. Max damage. All right, that's what I've got left. This one chases after Jade, attacks twice with his claws. Uh, first attack, 24. Second attack, a 10. 24 hits. Doing five slashing. Okay. Top of the round. that the two of the doors in the north open balls <laughs> and from those doors uh, come Duagar I'm just going to add them to initiative here. Do they look friendly? No. Okay. No, they do not. I feel like this is a trap. Uh, Phelan goes... And she'll rush to here and attack with her longsword twice. Misses. Come and on, Phelan. A one. Wow. She rolls like garnet. There's something going on here. Courtney, you see door open here and a door open here. You have four more Duagar entering the fray. What would you like to do? Or maybe no. you can't see those doors because you're... you're well, I'm going to run over here and stab this floaty thingy in the face twice. The furry thing? Yep. Yep. Twice by myself. One gun. One bullet. <laughs> 14 and 11. 14 and 11? The 14 hit. Okay. Then it's four piercing damage. And I'm going to use my bonus action this time of healing word. Yep. Used my last level three slot. And who are you going to heal? Lander, of course. Lander. Oh, Look at the love. Look at the love. So I get nine? You get nine. Sorry, that's lame. That's on third level two. Ouch. That's actually not bad for that spell. She's so pretty good. Uh, 
Jeremy. I have dark vision, but I don't see anything except Harry's circle. Oh. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's the same for me. I just assumed it was broken. Okay, hold on a second. Let me go in and see. I can see everything, including through the walls. With my shine gun. Kidding, I can't see through the walls. How about now? Yeah, that's much better. Now you can see other things, right? Everything's transparent, but yeah. Transparent? Yeah, like, Jade's token's half transparent. Lander's transparent. I don't know if that's normal or not. No. Hold on. I mean, it's fine. I can see. How about now? Oh, that's better. Right. Oh. Uh, I don't know why the Duragar are coming. We've been fighting silently this whole time. How do they even know we're here? I agree. Nuge. How about now, Jade? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Uh, Lander, are you having night vision problems? Nope. I'm perfect. My mom you, told me so. For whatever reason, you're on... You're, you're, you're actually set up different, too. Okay, the DM was drunk when he did tokens, everybody. That Apparently. got better, but... Yeah. Okay, Courtney. So, uh, Courtney's vision did not change. I think we're good on him. Uh, Courtney's done, so it is Duagar. Oh, Duagar. One, two, three, four, five, and... He grunts. Oh, he's shitting himself. <laughs> and he grows. Uh, Jade, your turn. Balls. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try and repair the one in front of me. Yes. And then I'm gonna disengage and run away. Okay, that hit for a total of 13. Does my cloud what? spell out in the other room? Uh, no. Well, up to sixty I guess, feet. I guess. I guess. Sh sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jade runs away. Bravely ran away. This one will attack. Uh, Lander. Okay. I got an 8 and a 14. They miss. They miss, sir. Uh, this Duogar moves up into the hallway here. He's going to throw a javelin at Courtney. I'm going to try and catch it out of midair. I like your style. A 17? I believe Looks like it that hit. Hits. Yep, for, and it does... Five piercing damage. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. This Quagoth on the wall slides down the wall and onto... Odegarn, attacking twice with his claws. I got a 22 and a 23. Uh, yeah... So the first one hits for nine slashing. Okay. Give me give me a Constitution uh, saving throw to keep call lightning up. I think. Sure. I think it's concentration, isn't it? Mm, sure. Okay. DC ten. Yeah. Con, con, DC ten con save. Mm. Constitution should be top left. There you go. You got it. It does. It's good. And second claw attack does four slashing and another Constitution save, please. Oh, 
<gasps> Can I use my Bardic Inspiration? Yes. A D8. Okay. Which is going to make it, because you only need a 10. Yeah. Nice. So you took a total of 13. And it's your okay. turn. I don't know how many temporaries you had left, but... I That's my first hit. I took 12. Uh, done that. Okay. Alrighty. I'm gonna use my action to strike these two. The two Duger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do it. Uh, where'd it go? Why is it not doing the thing? Whatever. Let's go over here. We get to listen to this song again? Yes. I'll change it. Settle down. Oh, we're grooving to it. It's all good. Ooh. You get a hard cut. Sorry. Is that the TSN turning point? It might be. So Odegarn brings the uh, lightning down on the two up there. The total damage is 18. They both take 18. Neither one of them save. Okay, cool. And since I'm not actually casting this spell, I'm using the action to use it. Can I still cast a bonus action spell? Yes. Alright, so I'm going to... Where'd it go? You know what? I'm just, I'm just going to go from here. I'm going to do a healing word on myself. Okay. Cool. Nine. Cool. Okay, this Duogar steps in the room, grunts, and grows big. What? And we'll even move to here. Land up, your turn. Are they actually growing big, or is that just yeah. their marker? Nope, they are actually growing big. Ooh, spooky. Uh, I think I'm going to lay on hands myself for 25. Okay. Juicy. And that's your action. Anything that's... for your bonus action? or? I'm going to cast uh, uh, Shield of Faith again. Oh, nice. Okay. And the last Duogar, he runs into the room here, and he will throw a javelin at Courtney. Again? He gets a 20 in total to hit, not a crit, but that's certainly going to hit. And it does 7 piercing to Courtney. Uh. It's then this Quagath's turn, so he claws twice at Lander. A 16 and a 9. Miss, miss. And then this... One will claw twice at uh, Phelan. Got a crit on Phelan. A total of seven damage. Okay. We're to the top of the round again. Phelan will attack with her sword on the one that's on her. A 20 and a 20, not naturals, but still hits, uh, for a total of 7... 12 total. 12. Isn't that lame? Courtney, your turn, my man. Of course it is. All right. I'm going to bravely try and stab this fuzzy fuzzy to death. The one that's between you, beside, beside uh, Phelan? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead and roll. For love. Crit! Crit. For eight damage. <laughs> For love. And then who's the second attack on? Because that kills... Actually, it doesn't matter where your second attack That's is. Because it's only six. six. Yeah. He and tried uh, to run. I shall healing word on... Uh, let's say Lander. Yep. 
Make you're keeping track of your spell slots, right? I am. Yeah, I've used up all my third. I've used up one first level, and I'm Ooh. using it for first level right now. Okay, cool. Six. Thank you. Six damage. Oh, an action surge for Agni. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, this big Duagar, he swings his uh, his enlarged. His enlarged war pick at Courtney. Come on, Dulagar, aren't we friends? 22 to hit. That hits. Take six piercing. Oh. Yeah, that didn't turn out so bad after. Damn, Dulagar. Jade. Jade, get this thing off me. Oh, hell. Mister, Mister, get this thing off of me. I will take steady aim and shoot at the one that is on Udagarn. <laughs> on Udagarn? Twenty-five to hit. That's a hit. And then I will use my last whale from the grave on that Duragar. The big Duragar over here. This one. See, I've been necrotic. Nice, very nice actually. Um, Quagoth, this Quagoth here, it will flank around you like so. A 15 and a 7. Neither of those hit, do they, Lander? No, sir. Uh, this Duogar back here, he's going to come into the room. And throw another javelin at Courtney. Come on. This guy's got a hard on for good music. Oh, that's the best. A crit! Oh no! Oh my god. Only from the crit. Only what? Four damage. <laughs> Only four. It was a crit, four damage. That's amazing. I know. This one, that's on Odegarn. He might be able to do something special here. Oh, no, not yet. Uh, a natural one, that misses, and then a 15. That's spot on, sir. Ooh, I will use my claws. <laughs> that hovered on a three for a second. No, that was the wrong one. There, that's the one I wanted. Uh, so a total of six slashing. Okay. And give me a concentration check. I did. Const Constitution save. You are fine. And it is Odegarn's turn. Okay, cool. Alrighty, so I'm going to do a bunch of things. Okay, Jeremy? Uh, you do a bunch of things, my dude. I'm going to use my action, my wild surge, to summon my fire spirit... Right here. Okay. So we gotta get your fire spirit out. Hold on. Right here? Yeah. yeah. When he summoned, he deals... Hold on a sec. How many hit points does he have? 40, I think. Since we leveled since last time I summoned him. Is that what it is? I think so. Because I don't think it's doing it right here, so... Uh, so it should have... You should have five plus your level, is that? Okay. <coughs> I'm going to give him... <coughs> I've given him 40. No, I'm going to summon him one higher. I thought it was five feet. It's ten feet. Do you... Do you mind if I move him here instead? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. 40. You should have 40. Yeah. Because you're a fifth level druid, is that right? Yeah. Hold on a sec, he gets five times your druid level. What's your druid level? Uh, I think we're level five. Six. Uh, and then plus five, so he actually has 35. Oh, okay. 35 hit points. Okay, cool. So you're summoning him where? Here, because I thought it was five feet around him, but it's really ten feet. 
So everyone except for me within 10 feet takes 2d6. Okay, so it would hit Phelan, though. That's okay. Okay. Uh, I don't want to hit Lander again. I've already dealt enough damage to him. So oh, when... Put it down. Everyone, it, it won't hit anyone except for and Daddy. What's the DC? Oh, yeah. What's the DC? Right. Uh, the DC is 15, I think. My spellcasting. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's not it's not hitting Phelan. That's what we yeah. decided here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's deck saves. Yes, 15. 2d6 fire. I don't have a fail. button for it. Uh, so there there's a dice over on the left side, and you should be able to just roll 2d6 there. On the left side of the screen. There you go. You got it. Ah, you did great. Three. Cool. Boom. I'm going to use my bonus action to command him Yeah. to teleport me 15 feet away. Okay. Pop, pop. I, th I think he goes after me, so I can't do it right now. And I then I'm going to... on the same turn as you. I thought it was after. As an action, you summon him. And you can expend one use of your wild shape to do that. Spirit appears in an unoccupied space that you can see within 30 feet. And each creature within 10 feet of the spirit, other than you, takes the damage. The spirit is friendly to you and... It shares my initial count, but take this turn immediately after mine. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to call lightning on these guys. Since I got an action surge. Yep. Cool. And then with his action, he's going to teleport me 15 feet away. Okay, so first of all, I want you to roll me the damage for the call lightning on the two Duogar up in the top. I was finding my button, though. So... Ouch. So these guys take 10 each. That's lame. And it's a deck save. So the big guy first. And then the little guy... Okay, the little guy made it, the big guy does not. So the big guy dies to that lightning strike, and the little guy takes half damage, which is four. So then we're going to teleport, which causes a fiery teleportation. Yeah. And, and this one beside you needs to take, make a DC 15 or take more damage. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, Mike. Pardon my French, but what a lot of work. Uh, failed the save, so DC, DC, uh, D6 plus 3, please. So 7. And then where would you like... You move yourself 15 feet. And he goes with you, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you just about done? <laughs> yeah. So just to be clear, you used an action to call lightning, you used another action, your bonus action, sorry, you used your, bon you used your action to summon your yes. fire spirit, then you used your bonus action that was granted to you to use the call lightning again, then yes. your spirit took its turn and did the teleportation. Yeah. Oh, that means I can still cast another bonus action spell, right? Or no? I, I'm afraid so, yes. <laughs> Alright, we're going to cast Healing Word on Lander. Okay. Oh, sweet. Lander's almost at full hip points again. I don't since... know why anyone's healing him. Yeah. yeah, I did the lay on hands for 25 to get myself back up. That's okay. At... You get you get five more. I'm at oh, and because my spirit's out, whenever they, anything takes healing or fire damage, I can add a D8 to it. So I'm going to add another D8 to the guy down there. A D8 fire damage? Mm-hmm. It's in my enhanced bond. Whenever I do healing or fire damage, I can increase the heal okay. or the damage. Can you do it to this guy down here? Definitely, because Lander's pretty good, right? Oh yeah, for now. So, so are you, yeah, and you, and Lander gets five uh, hit points. Yep. Yes. So I'm 54, are you done now? <laughs> yes, I'm done now. Okay, this big, <laughs> this big fat Duogar swings his war pick. <sighs> An eighteen on Courtney. Jeez, yes. For 11 piercing damage. Oh my gosh. 
Save me, Tom Cruise. Lander, your turn. Unless you're Tom Cruise. Uh, in which, no. In which case, you got shit to do. <laughs> I'm shorter than Tom Cruise. I can't. I can't. Oh. oh. And thanks, Mr. Pickles. All that was possible. So thank you, thank you, sir. Put a little bit of pickle juice on that one. Yeah. So we're chopping away at furries. Okay. Uh, 20, so 22, twenty-two for one. Which one are you attacking, first of all? Uh, this this guy here. Okay. For the first so one, the so that first hit one hits for eight. Yeah, okay, he's still up. Do you Second hit him one again? hits for ten. Yeah. Okay, that finishes. Nicely done, sir. And I'm uh, gonna actually move and take an attack of opportunity. Oh, okay, go for it. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Well, the claw, I rolled an act one for, so. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the Duagar now, he goes one, two, three, and grunts. <laughs> and then this Quagga uh, runs over and jumps onto Phelan. Even through the. Uh, yeah. You went around the outside. That's right. Lots of movement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's. Uh, I thought they were slow, but it was the other ones. Yeah. The spory ones. And hits twice with both claws. Hits twice with the claws for a total of fifteen. Yikes. She looks hurt. If it matters. Uh, <laughs> Phelan's turn. Uh, Phelan. What you gonna do, Caitlin? What you gonna do? She's got a booming blade, the closest one. Oh, nice. Uh, told him this. And, uh, we're on to Courtney. Okay. Courtney, you got. You and Phelan are back to back. You got two big, ugly dwarves, and she's got one ugly furry. Okay. Uh, which one of these ugly dwarves is wounded? Uh,. This one. Okay, I'm gonna attack that one then. Okay. Let's try some stabby stabby. I'm really liking that right now. Bitter patter, let's get it. You're doing actually really good with your rapier, all things considered. Uh well one does not hit. But that twenty hits. Uh and then with with my uh my bonus action, I'm gonna heal myself. Do it. Where are your hit points at? Because your hit points aren't moving according to me. Six. Healed for six. I am at 14 with that six. I just went up to 20. And you don't have any temporary hit points at the moment, nope. correct? And Hi, where Harry. are you at right now? Hi, Harry. You said 20. you're at 20. 20, right? I was yeah. at 14. I healed myself for six, and I'm at 20. Okay. Awesome, guys. Uh, Dugar, this little Dugar, he he is going to throw his javelin at Odegarn. I believe this is his last javelin. He gets a seven. Which probably does not hit. No, it does not. Sorry, my sister's talking to me. That's okay. Uh, and he then uh, slips back inside the door here. So, knock on wood, I haven't been cold in two hours. What you've done now. <laughs> Odegarn. Okay. So Odegarn's gonna. Everybody can go take a pee break, and when you come back, Agni and I will be done. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have all that stuff I can do, but I can. Wait a minute. Did we miss Jade? No. Feels like it. No, my turn was so long, it felt like two turns. Jade was supposed to go after Courtney. Courtney attacked twice and passed it to Jade, and then we jumped right from Jade onto the Duogar. So oh, Jade, yeah. it's your turn. We didn't. And oh, this Duogar okay. is still, still still at the open. Should you choose to do something? Uh, okay, I'm gonna take steady aim and shoot at the big one. Yeah. With advantage. Advantage. 21. 21. That is 20 a hit. damage. So, uh, 20 damage. Nice. Give this man his money. <laughs> and where Attack are you the putting far your... one. Attack the far Where's one. Where's the sneak attack? Uh, 
Whale left. of Shadows. Oh, I don't have any of those left. Oh, do you have to use the. Uh, you can only use that so many times a day? Proficiency bonus, yeah. Did not know that. Cool. Okay. Uh, Odegarn, it's now your turn. And this guy's back around the corner. Okay, so I'm going to cast. Uh, for my bonus action. Find this spell again. I keep losing all my spells. Healing Word on Courtney at level 2. And nice. since Courtney healed Ooh. while the fire spirit's out, Courtney gets an extra 8. Ooh. So what's Courtney's total then? So it looks like 15 total onto my 20, so I'm at 35. No, hold on a sec. The, the, the spell healed 11, and then the extra D8 healed another oh. 7. So it was a total of 18 healed. Total of, so I'm at 38. I'm you 2 points from my maximum. You can't go above 33. What? Why? Because those temporary hit points just come to you at the next dawn. Yeah, but those aren't temporary hit points. 40 is my maximum max. hit points. I thought your max was 33. No, we leveled up last week, remember? Or we not we leveled up last time we played, but I had not leveled up, and you and I did it before the session started. Okay. Your token was wrong. It wasn't tracking your hit points, so I got it doing it now. Thank you. Oh, Dagorn, what else are you doing? Cool. I'm going to strike right here with lightning. Actually, no, I'm going to strike him directly since it's not going to hit anyone. So he needs a deck save? Yep. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, something and good. He fails that. I rolled a natural one. So you do Only eight takes lightning. Eight. Well, that's oh, not nice. to kill him. Cool. And that's the end of my turn. <laughs> Well, now your little guy goes. No, my use my bonus spell. My bonus action to heal. He takes a dodge action if I don't give him an action. But doesn't he act at the end of your turn? Yes, but I didn't spend my bonus action to give him an action. Oh, so last time when you teleported... That was my bonus action. Yeah, but then you healed afterwards, so you shouldn't have healed afterwards. Because oh. your bonus action was eaten, right? Yeah, I thought Action Surge gave you one. That was my bad. I can take the five health off. It's free. No, sir. Leave it on. Okay. We can we continue. I was just saying that. We continue. That been my bad. I thought Action Surge just gave you a whole new turn. No, it doesn't give you another bonus action. It just gives you another standard action. Okay, so that's uh, my bad. An 11 does not hit Courtney. Lander, your turn. I'm going to whack away at this big, ugly dwarf that pooped his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Two hits for a total of 20 damage. I'm assuming they both hit. Yep. So this furry guy down here. Well, I'm also going to move back down here. Go ahead. And... He's going to attack Kaylin. Okay. What are you going to do? That's all I can do. And he does not hit her. Her armor class is 7. Her armor class is 16 because her armor is damaged, but uh, that's, that's okay. Phelan! What are you going to do? I'm going to attack. Sounds good. A 21 and an 18. Both of them hit for a total of uh, 14 damage. Courtney, your turn, my man. I shall move up. There's this guy in the room, and there's a dwarf that ran out the door up here. Remember that these squares inside the orange circle cost double. You still can do what you did, but I'm just giving you a heads up. Okay. Then I'm going to attack this thing while it's surrounded on all sides. On all sides. Swords and blades and guns. Oh, my. My legs. Tigers and bears. Oh, my. Arr. Be like, I hope you get gingivitis, buddy. And I'll stab him twice. Both hit for a total of 12 damage. Yeah. Courtney, look what you've done. You killed him. He's dead. You killed him, Courtney. Jade. You can see that the chamber that this dwarf has retreated into has arrow slits all over it. And he's about to yell out one. Oh, 
Well, I'm going to shoot him with an arrow. Nice. Right throat. <laughs> Oops, sorry, that should not have been an advantage. That's okay, we just take the 17, which is still a hit, and you do uh, only the regular damage, which yep. is 8, and that kills him. Excellent. No one else knows we're here. Well done, guys. We still have the element of surprise, but we're going to take a long rest, right? I don't know. What are you going to do? I'm glad the soundtrack changed now that we're a little bit more calm. It's making me anxious. <laughs> so the Duagar and the and the Quagoths and the they they're they're lying dead all over the place. Are they carrying but, anything special? You notice that the Quagoths that had the spores all over them, they have massive wounds on them. Like they they were prop you think the spores have some sort of undead animating quality to them. And the big spore guy lying against the wall looks at you and says nothing. Hey. Sup. Sup. Yo, yo. How you Wiki doing? Wiki scratch. Wiki yo, yo, bang, bang. Huh? How you doing? Well, he looked, he looks at you. He definitely acknowledges that you're speaking to him. Uh, as, uh, as Jade moves closer, he puffs out a bunch of spores in a 30-foot radius. Just and... trying to be nice. You didn't have to sneeze at me. <laughs> as these spores land on anyone within 30 feet, which would be Jade, uh, Courtney, and Lander... As these spores land on you, you suddenly feel like there's a telepathic bond between you and the creature. What's up? Thank you, friends. Thank you for saving me. Are you okay? He looks down at his stump. I think if returned to my grove, I can regrow what I have lost. How do we get you there? Beyond the gates of the Duagar compound, there is a tunnel that leads back to the depths of the Underdark. My people await me there. I've always wanted to go to the Underdark. If you wish, you may accompany me. Let's do it. The dwarves brought me here against my will. What were they doing exactly? He sort of with his other hand that works, he reaches out and like pokes at some of the spores in the air. And he says, uh, a number of my spores have the ability to animate dead. Gross. Do you have any of your spores that can heal? He, uh, he says, I, I am sorry, I do not have spores that can heal your wounds. Wrong kind of bird. Got it. <laughs> he can take you on a trip, though, if you want. <laughs> a trippy trip. Nice. <laughs> he, he says that, uh, that he is a sovereign of the Myconoid Empire and would very much like to go home. I think we can take a detour. Did you yep. just call it the Mike and Ike Empire? Mike and Oid. Mike and Oid. Mm. I love Mike and Ikes. Yeah, it sounded like Mike and Ike. Green box or Sorry, green box? Mike and Nid. Mike and Nid. Green box for sure. Sovereign yeah, all, of the Mike and Empire. Green box every day. All day, every day. <laughs> all day, every day. So we just got to kill this uh, <laughs> sunblight jackass and then we'll get you home. Do you want to help? Oh, we gotta am, we gotta rest up first, I think. I am not sure I can be much be of much assistance to you. Can you raise all these bodies in here and have them be our undead army? Will they follow our instructions? That would be very helpful. One moment. <laughs> <laughs> One moment. One moment, please. Hold, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you have any appropriate hold music, sir? Uh, he has enough spores left to do one uh, one body. Can an undead Durgar still poop himself and get big? Mm, no. Well, then we'll take the leader, because he can cast stuff. But he can't cast stuff if he's a zombie, can he? That's right. Well, poo. What friend do you guys want, friends? Doesn't really matter. Look, I'm the sturdiest one. Wait, what if we go out and we find Mr. Squirrel's body and have him reanimate him? Mr. Squirrel's on the other side of Icewind Dale. If you ever really cared about him, you'd be willing to go that far. Could we bottle the spores for later use? Wait. Well, the okay. Quagoths were doing that, so you think yes. Stay with me on this one. What if I kill myself? And then you <laughs> raise me. Why? <laughs> I think if a zombie version of you was were silent, I think we would be up ahead of the game. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's still too much talking. Fire if bad. Can, uh, if he's okay with us bottling the spores, I think it'd be useful later. Yeah. I'm thinking we should bottle the psychedelic spores, and now we have uh, uh, missiles we can throw. <laughs> I mean... I mean, that yeah. seems like the kind of missile you'd throw at a party. So he <laughs> he he picks up one of the jugs that the uh, that the Quagoth were using, and uh, sort of holds it up to an indescript growth from his body, and lets out sort of a. He farts oh, in Farted it in a can. <laughs> the corker on it and gives it to you. Uh. He's like, he only has one hand. He's not putting a cork on anything. You but you guys can bottle. you guys can say you have one container of animating spores. He tells you that once the spore is attached to a body, um, it takes up to t as much as twenty four hours for the corpse to rise, and then it will last for uh, somewhere between one to five weeks. Should we take Phelan to see your friends? Oh, that's pretty dark. <laughs> Was that too dark? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> what Go take say? Phelan to see her friends. Oh, no. <laughs> she can say her last goodbye. Oh, no. Oh, I feel like a terrible jackass. You are a terrible jackass. You right? Yeah. Games. Oh, my God. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> Actually, well, I can believe you said that. Never yeah, I was going to say, you don't know me very well, then. Uh, all right then. I uh, put the fork in the jar and put the jar in my bag. And all right, and I give him a pat. Let's go. <laughs> if out of more spores go off him. Do you want to come with us while we kill the Durga, or do you want to wait here and we'll come back for you? Uh, he he says that he can follow you, but he warns you that he's not much of a combatant, and he's not. Believe me. Well, that's fine. We we got this. Okay. So where was the party? What's about the that locked us in here anyway? What's that? Oh yeah, we should. I was thinking about that. that. Or do we get them to watch over us while we have a rest? We trust them. Do we need a rest? I would like a rest. I need some spells back. I'd say we shock them with some lightning before my spell ends, and then just sleep. Yeah, let's do that. All right, I'm gonna try and kick open this door. Yeah, it opens. Eh. And when you open, they look at you and they're like, they're they're like thumbs up. They're like, well done, well done. Arrow the creature the wants to speak to you. No, not, Arrow yet. To... not yet. All right. Want to pull him into the room first? Are we Come killing on. these guys got, or no? What? We got some work to do. Why don't we hit him with the funky spores and see what happens? So Make this a party. They come in and. They tentatively look across the room at, uh... Oh, he, he tells you that his name is Pluroda. Not Groot? I'm offended. Pluroda. Garota of the Mycolite tribe? Pluroda. Pluroda. I'm gonna strike him with lightning. Pluroda of tribe Mycolite. Sorry, are you shocking these guys? Yeah! <laughs> okay. 
right. They're dead. I'm, I'm not going to go through this. Uh, so you you, you zap them. down the Mootgart, the Mootsgart people. They're going to die anyway. And we are going to go on a very quick break and come back for our last half an hour. Just let everybody get uh, I go potty. I go pee pee now. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody.
does it do that? So my Discord... Oh, there. Now it's working. <laughs> Look at that! Welcome back for more DM Jeremy Learns How to Stream. Okay. We are back. Uh, you guys are taking a short rest or a long rest? We're going to go over into this room and take a look. Okay, let me let me check that room. Let's let's do that. So this dark, filthy room is strewn with bones. It contains ten crude beds made of moss and clumps of fur. Loud mechanical noises come from behind the west wall, which is where the elevator room is. Yeah, that tracks. Okay. So you're coming in here and closing the door? Yeah, we'll get our yeah, uh, are friend we in here too. Poor dude comes in. Plurota. 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 My Sharona. My How long does your fire guy last, Agni? One hour. Okay. Place yourselves in the room anywhere you'd like. Do the doors open in or out? You guys are up by the door. Yep. Are you closing the door? Yeah. Does Do they open in or out? In. So, yeah, just keep up against it. <laughs> I, actually, I actually don't know, but... <laughs> And I'll take we're first gonna, watch. We're going to say that. Okay. I'll and take, I'll this take stuff right here, this remains difficult terrain until it's moved, Clear. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, isn't that special? Okay. Everyone's just kind of getting comfortable. You've maybe been here almost an hour when Jade and Lander, who are closest to the door, can hear Duagar in the next room. Does that track? Okay. Uh, you hear footsteps, and there are... There sounds like there's quite a number of them. They come over and uh, you hear them sort of... Who who speaks who speaks Undercommon again? Did we have someone that spoke Undercommon? Wasn't it Phelan? Phelan supposedly speaks everything, but she really doesn't. <laughs> Let me check. He speaks common, draconic, elvish, giant, and orc. You give me okay. an hour, I can. There's lots of talking outside the door. And then you hear iron boots headed towards your door. I cast comprehend languages. You don't have that. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, you don't. It's a warlock spell. It's prepared. It's in my list. Look at my character sheet. <laughs> How dare are you, you not trust me? Are, are you being serious? I'm being legit. Boom. Okay. The doubt. Oh, the animosity. I, I cast some serious shade there and he proved <laughs> me wrong. That, that really hurt my feelings. All right. Uh, he comes over to the door and, and you hear him kick it with his boot. And he says, uh, Are you in there? Yarp. 
Don't come in, I'm naked. Uh, you say yarp? Yeah. <laughs> I try to imitate the He furry says, uh, Krog, uh, is that you? Uh, uh. Give me a deception check. <laughs> I'm just staring oh. at him like, no, no, oh, no. Take that 20. Did you really? Yep. Oh boy. I gotta Not a natural back. 20. He says, uh, where'd the mushroom guy go? Uh, uh, he just exploded uh, in his pores. Like a fart in the wind, he just blew away. Your the uh, the necessary ingredients, right? Uh huh. Hmm. You hear the other guys outside go like, what's he doing in there? I don't know what he's doing in there. You're okay. You're it. And with that, the iron boots begin to leave. I resolved an encounter without violence. Mark it on the calendar. Fuck. <laughs> they come <Okay>. back. <laughs> Another hour goes by and you hear the boots and they're coming back. Uh, Jeff's probably, uh, Lander's probably sleeping at this point if he's taking a long rest. I'm like nudging him awake again. <laughs> and comprehend languages is gone now, right? Uh at a one hour duration, so yeah, just ran out. Yeah. I shall now cast Comprehend Languages. <laughs> Do you have it? Is this some kind of joke? I'm quite sure that I have it. One sec, let me be... I'm impressed. I'm impressed if you have it. I do. It's a level one spell. I got it. And this is my... Here we go. Boom. I cast Comprehend Languages. <laughs> okay. There's a kick at the door. He says, uh, Sunblight wants those. Those spore things. Now. Um. I'm gonna be like, I'm still cultivating them. Like, like that? <laughs> like that good, that good, that good common tongue? Yes, exactly. Well, I never thought of that. You weren't able to speak before. before. Well, he really didn't speak dwarf. He just went... Uh. Comprehend language. Comprehend language lets him... Oh, that's true. He only grunted, didn't he? Okay, I'll give you that. So we haven't fucked this yet. And you can speak telepathically. Yes. So I'll tell him that I'm trying to get these spores into a bottle and that if you don't do it properly, everyone is going to get herpes forever. <laughs> no, not forever, herpes. Give me a deception. Oh, you're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> now, when you say deception, do you mean persuasion? No, I mean deception. I rolled a 14. Okay, I gotta roll his insight. He's a dumb dwarf. Don't roll insight. Seven. Look, dude. I don't want to tell him that. You come and tell him yourself. I'll be like, if I go there, they will get the herpes I'm telling you about. I've already got them, but I can save you from an itchy crotch. Again, you hear another voice on the other side of the room. What's he saying? 
He's in my mind. At which point he goes, well, well, you know he's psychic. And I shit you not, these guys, the, 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 the casters have psionics. They have what? They have psionics, so the fact that you're in his mind is really not that. They're like, well. <laughs> and what's he saying? He says if we let him out, we're all going to get crotch, crotch itch or something. Rock crotch. The Lord's not going to want that. Yeah, he's no. pissed, pissed off already. Can you imagine him if he had rock crotch? <laughs> they, they're like, yeah, if we go back and tell him he's going to be very angry. Well, I'll, uh, I'll leave it up to you guys. He can either get angry because they're late, or he can be angry because he's got crot rotch, but he'll get over one of those much sooner than the other. You hear them walk away. <laughs> uh, is Phelan awake? Everyone is awake. I'm going to point at her and wink and give her a single gun and with minor illusion, make my eye go bing! <laughs> sparkle. Minor illusion with the eye sparkles again. This is a common... Uh... Okay, let's see here. There are no other uses for the minor illusion spell. I mean, really. Okay, so the first two checks, were t it's an eight-hour river. Okay, you're almost completed your long rest. Uh, who would be on watch last? Lander? Lander, you hear bootsteps approaching the door. I will cast Comprehend Languages again. <laughs> do, you have, do you have the ability to do that again? Uh, well, we would have already had a short rest technically so my warlock okay so you get your warlock spells back i'll let you have it that's a bit of a stretch but yeah that's fine okay so you, oh, no, you I have one slot left anyway i have one slot left for, well for he got the thing comes back <laughs> should i roll my deception check now i guess uh well first of all he says uh all right you need to come now huh. we we went and told him he had to wait didn't want to get the crotch rot. <laughs> but then he killed Gorgoth. I'm not dying. I'd rather have the crotch rot. Just give me give me the give me the jar. Pass the jar out. <coughs> give him give him the jar. Give him the jar give him the jar of the spores. I will from behind the door, open it enough to roll the jar out and then slam the door. It's like the roll of toilet paper handoff when you know yeah. someone needs toilet paper in the bathroom, but you don't want to look at them, so you just... Yeah, no eye contact, just toss it in. It's like tossing a frag grenade. Toss it in and walk away. Toss it in and walk yeah. away. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, uh, give me a deception check. Or stealth, whichever one you'd like. Oh, we're doing deception for sure. That's based on charisma. 21? <laughs> I feel like this is kind of a Three Stooges act at this point. Um, Who's on first? He picks up... He picks up... You hear him pick... You hear him pick up the jar and walk away. I wish we had some hallucinogenic spores. That's what I would have thrown out there if we did. And you finish your long rest, assholes. <laughs> Perfect. So I got my ten temporary hit points back. Well, and no, you get dawn. those at dawn. Well, technically. You're fine, dawn. We're underground. Yeah, I know, and I don't remember when you arrived here. So we'll say, I'll let you get it. You got your temporary hit points back. Yay. Courtney does not have Sea Invisible up, though, anymore. But he's got spell slots to cast it. Everybody can give themselves spell slots back. Jeff, remember to knock yourself down one spell slot. No, I had an extra slot. 
What? I had one slot left. I said I, I was asking before I went to the spells page. I was at one of five on first level. But if you like, I'll put it to four. That's fine. Sometimes I think you just you people are bullshitting me. Like when I said I had Copperhead Languages and you called me out on it on national TV. Remember that? <laughs> national TV. <laughs> yeah. Dude, thank you. Technically, all, it's thank international. You. Yes, you. Thank you for calling this national TV. You heard it here first, everybody. <laughs> Breaking news. DM Jeremy thinks I'm a liar. Well, I know, like, Imran no, was in chat, and he puts it up on his big TV, so it's international TV. He's in Scotland. Uh, bigger, bigger breaking news. DM Jeremy goes international. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, everybody... Do we level? No! <laughs> no, you don't fucking level! This game's rigged. I don't want to play no more. Dave sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's go kill some dwarves. Barbecue wings! Nice. I'm sorry, did someone in your house just call you Agni? Yeah. Is that your real name? Or does your family call you by your D&D &D character's name? Yes. Yes, all of the above? Okay. No, it's not my name, but that's what they call me. I love it when they call me Big Pop. Anyway. <laughs> Where to, party? I Where to, going... heroes? We're going north. All right. Should we skin the furries and make furry suits so they think that we're them? Uh, that seems uh, a yeah. bit gruesome. I don't think you're pulling that one off. It's for a disguise. That's why we're making these furry suits. Yes. Yes. Purely for a disguise. disguise. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no scritch piles in this D&D game. The fact that you just said the thing. Don't worry about you, Jeremy. Don't worry. About you. I don't, don't know what to do. Explain it to me, Jeremy. What is it? Um, I don't know. I am not claiming to be a knowledgeable source for what furries do in their spare time. But there was a CSI episode right. where they described a grouping of furries sort of rolling over each other on the floor as a scritch pile. There's no kink shaming here. But that's I knew what it was. I was trying to say it. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> yeah, it tracks. You're right. Okay, so... Uh, to the murder hole room. You look down a corridor here, Lander, and their murder hole room is a good description. There are uh, arrow slits off of the left side of the room. <clears throat> Many small arrow slits down the left-hand side of the room, and then down the right-hand side, there's a couple of very much larger ones that look out onto... They look out, out of the building, whereas the ones down the left-hand side look into another area of the building. I want right. to try and open these doors here as quietly as possible. Yes, these ones open for you. And beyond, you see a hallway that leads down to another set of double doors, with multiple, numerous arrow slits down either side. That if someone tried to breach this chamber, they would be in for a bit of a bit of poking through the holes. We should have camped here. <laughs> well, we can oh, well. go back in time, so let's go. Well, apparently Jeremy can. <laughs> Who's Jeremy? <laughs> I'm the, uh, I, I can do anything I want, Jeff. This is my world. Don't stifle true. my creativity! Sorry. I didn't realize okay. my words had an effect on you. They do. Don't ever forget it. All Noted. of them. And there are a lot of them. So where, where to now? North. Down this corridor. To the next door? North, down to the Dang Quoke River. Hold on, let me catch everybody else up here. What's going on out here? Do you want to go take a look? Yeah, I'll take a look at the Arrow City windowy thing. 
I see fiery stuff and things. Okay. It looks so, like a forge. Yeah. Imagine that, Lander. Imagine that. Uh, let me get the description there for you, Lander. As you peer out the arrow slit. Smoke fills this warm cavern, which has a ceiling that ranges from 40 feet high down to 20 feet high along the, uh, uh, along the south wall. The source of the smoke and heat is a 10-foot tall stone forge shaped like a pyramid <clears throat> with the top of the forge, uh, sorry, with its peak sheared off. Ripples of heat and flashes of firelight spew from the top of the forge, which emits deep pulse, which emits a deep pulsating heartbeat. A five foot deep trough through the east uh, extends east through the forge, with rows of black anvils on either side of the depression. Overlooking the forge are tw are four twenty foot tall guard towers, with gray skin gray skinned dwarves standing behind their low battlements. Stone stairs provide access to these towers near the forge. South of the forge is an enormous five-foot-tall iron platform fitted with cranes and clamps and short flights of iron stairs leading to the top of the platform. Surrounding it is a cleanup crew consisting of a female duagar with a horn and six hulking bipeds with white fur stained with soot. These are the furries that you fought in the other room. Right. They are tossing scraps into a cylindrical container. In the 20-foot high ceiling above the bin is a wide rectangular hole. So, just to be clear, that this is the platform over here. So These are it, towers up here? It looks like there was something probably chained there at some point. Like a dragon, maybe? Maybe. And right above it is a big opening in the roof. Right, that would and make sense. And then this is the forge where the fire is popping and sputtering out of. And this is the trough thing. You got it, my man. You got it. And I see two of the towers. You said there's four, so I'm assuming there's two down here somewhere. Yeah, there's you, there's two. This is one out here. Sorry, this is one out here. I don't know if you can see this far. I can just see the but particular edge. Technically, the chamber would be lit, right? Yeah. With the glow of the fire so oh, can I can even see, see the two Duragar here. They're on the far uh, they're on the far side. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, I'll uh, let them know what I see. Prepare them for what there, we're about to encounter. There's a lot of we're talking through like there's a lot of shit out there. Why don't you come in this hallway? Yeah. Come into what this are you hallway. This, this is uh, dumb. What's dumb? You're talking to me through the arrow slit. <laughs> but I gotta walk? Like, okay, fine. There's no fucking door over there. Hi. I saw stuff, and it's over there. And things. <laughs> I saw stuff, and it's over there. And You're and, and and Thank you. Yeah, there's Duragar and furries and fire and brimstone and Why are towers. we calling them furries? I mean, I got fur. Yeah, but we mean a derogatory when we talk about them. We don't when we talk about you. You're our friend. You're first clean. Usually, I. And smell nice. groom a lot. I do groom a lot. It's very soft. And scritchy. Scritchy. Let's get uh, let's get Courtney up here with everybody in case something happens. There we go. Okay, what do you mean? I will. Hey, you know gonna happen. Check this door for traps. <clears throat> okay, give me a perception check, please. Oh. Investigation's fine, I guess. We'll we'll go with investigation. <laughs> yes, yes, we're going with yes, we're going with investigation. Yes, it does, not it does not appear to be trapped. Okay, I open the door very sneakily. Very sneakily. And I combat roll through. <laughs> God damn it, Leonard. Okay. So, this is where we're going to wrap tonight, but we are going to read what's here. I see a thing. 
there no. there is definitely a thing. So this cavern is unlit with a jagged 30 foot high ceiling. A strange sight confronts you as four Duagar, two of them much larger than normal, use ropes to restrain a hulking ah. biped with an insectoid body. A large sack that has been pulled over the creature's bulbous head bobs back and forth. Um, and what did we roll for stealth? 15? 15. They have not noticed you yet. And that's where we'll end it tonight. Because I think that's legit. It was pretty too legit. Legit. Too quick. I'm thinking we stay in here and fight them one at a time in the doorway. Well, they have not even seen you. Their numbers count for nothing in the hot gates. <laughs> <laughs> the hot gates. All right, let's find somebody to raid and call it a night. What do you say? Yeah, sounds good. Sure, the Voktaire is on. <laughs> yes, raid me and then I'll go raid somebody else. <laughs> okay, that's good. We're going to do that. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> that's good. Let's go over there, Voktaire. I don't even know if I have people in my channel. I am. Anyways, I am. thanks for watching tonight, everybody. And uh, hopefully... We will get this thing back on track and be more regular and see you next Wednesday. See you next Check Wednesday. out Old Men Rolling Dice YouTube page. Peace! <laughs> like Harry, and subscribe. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. It's a raid. Ah. Oh, hang on, let me redo my raid. The raid has been cancelled. Yeah, because I did it before you guys. Oh, Big uh, Burnham's on.